What's up guys, Tim Halster here with Drag Boss Garage. Here's an update on the Track Boss 427 in Cleveland. Now I had Darren Morgan take a set of A3 heads and change the combustion chamber to what he wanted to for this engine. And that's the combustion chamber on the right. The stock A3 or Cleveland combustion chamber is on the left. Big change there. It almost looks like a C302B combustion chamber. Now here's what it looked like after he welded it up and before he smoothed it down to shape it. Just FYI, here's a C302B head. You can see opposite a spark plug, it's kind of raised in that area like the secret A3 head. And where the spark plug is located is the stock Cleveland shape. Now, the cylinder heads that I sent him were an early version of the A3 cylinder head and a later version. The earlier versions had a 2.77 exhaust bolt spacing, whereas all later Ford Motorsport heads are 2.98. So I sent him a flange and he mounted it up there and I had to weld the upper hole and then re-drill it and tap it, which he's doing here. Now that flange there doesn't seem to fit too well, but I got a different set of flanges from Headers by Ed, and it, that one fits much better. I use these flanges on my dyno headers for the 409 Cleveland. Now here's what he's doing with the combustion chamber. He's already smoothed it out, and you're going to see that in the next slide. But that spark plug is all welded up and has to be recessed. So you have to sink the seat of the spark plug, and he went in 150 thousandths. He also said that chamber is very efficient and will only need about 29 to 30 degrees of timing at 85 to 9 grand. So Darren set these heads up, I think, with PAX Springs 1249. He said seat pressure is 385 on the seat. He said you can run up to 965 gross lift. 965 thousandths. That's wicked. Here's a picture of the chambers all set up with titanium intake and exhaust valves. You can see the spark plugs all smoothed over. Plenty of reach there. Here's the intake ports. Just another quick peek. These things, they got to be flowing close to 400. He's going to flow them soon. Here's the exhaust port. So now the Cougar is still at my buddy JP's custom chassis and header. That's a picture of the Cone Engineering 7 degree merge collectors that we're building. The custom headers are going to be 2 inch with a step to 2 and 8 with those custom cone engineering merge collectors. I think it's definitely going to help the low end. So I'm getting excited. Hopefully that will be done within the next couple weeks. Just want to introduce you to the latest member of our family. This is Zeus Maximus. My kids call him. We just call him Zeus. But he's getting big. Thanks for watching Drag Boss Garage. Stay tuned.